Okay, as you can see, I am working on a SpongeBob handbag. It is a coach handbag, and I've already put the sketch down. I'm going to go ahead and put the white down first. Um, since most of this entire handbag is actually his face, um, I will just do some, uh, let's, you know, the, um, sorry, I'm, I'm like, as they always say, blondes can't do more than one thing at a time, which is not true, but, um, I, uh, I concentrate on what I'm doing in painting so I don't make mistakes and such, but, uh, I'll go ahead and since, like I said, this whole thing is going to be pretty much him. So I'll go in afterwards and I'll add the little um, circles that you see in sponges um, and then make them 3D-ish so that it'll look more realistic. And then I'll have to go in and do all the shading and everything um, for his face to appear to be kind of like uh, part of the bag itself. This usually, I usually put down like two or three coats of this paint um, because I don't like blobbing paint on. That's a bad thing to do because then you've got um, raised parts on the bag and you don't want that because then it looks clump, the paint gets like clumpy and that's definitely not something you want. So I don't put really heavy coats on only in the winter, ba bump bump, and uh, so I'll work on this one, and usually I do multiple things at one time, so I will do this one, and let it dry, and do other stuff, um, that's the wonderful thing of having ADHD, is that I, I get bored with one thing or I just can't do one thing at a time. So I have to uh, do other things to keep my brain occupied or it wants to do other things. Um, so I do my best to finally get everything finished. Um, and I'm using a fairly small brush. I mean, there's smaller brushes for detail but uh, as you can see, this is a number, um, it has paint on it, I can't see, three slash zero. So that's the one I'm using at the moment. And I'm using Angelus paint. As you can see, I'm not gonna lean this too far because I don't wanna spill it. <laughs> I'm just using basic white um, to put it on here first. Usually I'll um, use uh, like a varnish remover that gets rid of the gloss and stuff. But this particular one, there isn't a lot that is going to be painted in one section. So I didn't really want to do that to the whole front. So this should fit, um, sit on this fine when it's finished. And then I will clear coat it afterwards. But uh, this covered pretty well, plus it's a light color underneath so that's good but there's our first layer for the eyes actually let me straighten this up i will go over with a um outliner afterwards when we get all this finished and excuse if you hear my hear snapping that's actually my fingers my because of my ehlers danlos that i have my fingers um, get locked uh, in the joint sometimes, so you'll hear that snap occasionally. I apologize. Um, but uh, if you've seen my other recent videos, you've seen <laughs> I've kind of been on a SpongeBob kick, so that's why um, I thought I would do this really quick today while well, I had a few minutes. I'm supposed to be doing a million other things, but I just needed a break. Um, and then I'll have to stop after this because my eyes, my eyes are starting to hurt. Um, 
due to my other weird ass thing I've got going on. But, uh, I liked this dark, kind of a sarcastic look of SpongeBob, his abrasive side. And there, there you go. Um, I might just try to put a little bit more on here. But like I said, you don't want to, you don't want to clump it on. So don't, don't throw a ton of paint on. Even if you, it's better to have to go back and do a few layers than it is to, um, you know, kind of just throw a ton on at once. Some of this is already dried. So there we go, and um, I might just uh, turn the blow dryer on and dry it a little faster, and then we'll put one more coat. All right, so we've done that and got it nice and dry, so we'll do this next one real quick. And it's still a little warm, so the paint will dry pretty quick when I'm putting this on here. You don't want to put the um, hair dry on really hot. You just want to use, if if you, that is if you want, you don't have to use a hair dryer. You can just wait if you're patient. But I'm not always, and I just wanted to get the second coat on quick. And it's not going to just be... Um, white here i'm gonna don't do it as a 3d type thing so it'll have shading uh probably like a light blue under his eyes uh in this area here we'll add uh and some underneath the eyelid we'll add a little shadow um but i'll, I'll use they use um blue when they usually do his shadows and not a black so we will do that And I just, as I'm doing this, I just play music in my head since I'm <laughs> not actual headphones, just kind of sing to myself in my head because I, I'm not allowed. I can put some other non-copyrighted music, but I would normally put, uh, oh snap, I got a little on there. That's fine. Um, I would put some type of SpongeBob music on to get me in the mood, but I'll just add some other oceanic type of sounds, perhaps. And we'll get a little bit more on the eye here. And then I shall let this one go for the day, I think, because I have other stuff to do and my eyes are already getting tired. As you can see, usually I just put it in the lid. Now put it on the lid. No, the lid. The lid. The lid. Instead of having to pour out more than you need and waste it, I just put it in the lid. I just turn the lid up over after I shake it up. So there we go. And we have uh, um, our second coat. And I'll probably just put eh, maybe one or two more just to be on the safe side to get it the white that I want. And then uh, we will go on to the next color. So stay tuned. <laughs> 